What's going on everybody, Colin the Great here bringing you another one of my album reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Black Bear's new album, Everything Means Nothing. Damn, that's depressing. Basically, the title is a perfect representation of what this album is about. You know, it's one of those heartbreak albums to me, it seemed like. It was an I hate you album, I, I want to get over you album, I'm hurting album, kind of all of the above. What was really unique about this experience for me was that it was my first time ever really listening to Black Bear and his music and I liked how it sounded. I thought it was very clean production. The album was co-produced by Andrew Goldstein and Black Bear himself and I thought that they were the tracks were awesome. They were engineered beautifully. They had a bunch of creative ideas that went along with the mixing of the tracks. However, every single song sounded the exact same. I just, you know, my first impression of it was that this is an awesome album. It starts off with Hot Girl Bummer, Perfect Satire, you know, Meg Thee Stallion's Hot Girl Summer. I thought that Black Bear did an excellent job with this song, you know, made it his own. He had a little bit of that, a little bit of that boy band vibe to it, a little bit of that boy band style, um, kind of more whiny, appealing to the younger generation but with rapping lyrics to it it was it was kind of a, a unique take on uh pop rap especially the style of rap that he was doing it was more depressing and he delivered it in such a positive way which was a very unique twist to it it was like the lyrics were saying one thing but the instrumental was saying something else and i think that was a really cool uh really cool idea to kind of bring those two polar opposites together. He almost reminds me of like a Katy Perry and an Adam Levine combined, but with an NF attitude and NF style of depression music. You know, it was it was very refreshing to see that somebody other than NF is spitting lyrics like this um, and, in, and in a different way than he is. So I thought that was really cool. Black Bear is one half of Mansions with other musician Mike Posner haven't really listened to any of their music but I do like Mike Posner as an individual I do like Black Bear now so I'm sure I'll have to check out some of their music see what they got but he's one half of them he really wanted this album to be his number one album in the description he really talks about how he put everything into this a couple years ago he was diagnosed with chronic pancreatitis due to excessive drinking and he really had to sober up and that's when he wrote Digital Drug Lord and this is a similar vibe, but a different take away from that album. I thought that he did a good job of getting that top 20 radio sound. I think that it sounds excellent. He's definitely got a few songs on there that can make it. Uh, one of the issues with that though, is that a lot of his songs, though they are catchy, they swear a lot. Like in Hot Girl Bummer, I think that that would be a a hit on the radio i could be wrong it might already be playing but half of the chorus is him swearing um and it's one thing when you have a couple lyrics in a verse no big deal but when half the chorus is missing then it's a little harder to uh to justify at that point so i think he's gonna have a tough time breaking into that area although it sounds good i just don't think he's gonna get there and again i don't think he's gonna make this a number one album i don't think he's gonna win a grammy on it it's, he said that was his goal and if any album was gonna do it it was this one it has the sound to it it has the style but every single song sounds the same i can't emphasize that enough i was halfway through the album and i got bored listening to it because there was really no deviation in the lyrics there was no deviation really in the instrumentals the the way he, he delivered his lyrics his flow it was all very very similar it was catchy it was good it sounded clean but it was the same and that was that was really my only big critique with this album i did give it a six and a half out of ten and those three and a half points are for that repetitive style it just was not there for me um i do have a few songs downloaded i love them i'm gonna keep listening to them but I, it's not an album that I can listen to over and over and over and over again because it all sounds the same. I can't say that enough. But I did go check out Pitchfork's review on this album and I have to say they did Black Bear dirty. I do not agree with 
their review on this album. They just tore him apart and it almost seems like the author writing the post was not a fan of Black Bear as a person or was not a fan of rap music. I could not kind of get to the bottom of it, but basically they gave this song a terrible review. They only gave it a 4.1. I believe the author's name was Danny. They were saying that he was speaking in hashtags. He was regurgitating memes, using stale tweets in his lyrics. They also said the album had no message, no real clear direction, which I don't think they actually listened to the album in depth. It only took me one time through to really understand what he was trying to get at. And it might not be the most explosive message. It might not be the most obvious message. It might be one of the most basic messages, but there is a message to the music. And I thought that Pitchfork and Danny was way off base in saying that there was no direction because there was. And as for regurgitating old memes and using stale tweets, that's part of the creativity of a musician is working relative feelings. So if something's been tweeted over and over and over and over again by millions of different people, everybody feels that way. Using your creativity to incorporate that into a song and getting it out there is encouraged. That's what music's about. That's how you draw in new fans. And I, I don't think that this author really understood that. I don't think that they un understand the the way the business runs and how it works. In my opinion, he or she was way off base and they were not a big fan of Hot Girl Bummer. They said it was a, they said, and I quote, Hot Girl Bummer was a snarling bastardization of Meg Thee Stallion's Hot Girl Summer, which I don't understand where the hostility is coming from. One thing that happens in music is people make remixes to songs they make their own versions they do what they can i don't agree with that that statement that it was a snarling bastardization that's what music is is there are remixes that people are going to make their own versions of songs that's how it goes i don't understand why there is such an angry feeling towards this album it was pretty basic in the message it talks about heartbreak you got that kind of self-pity whining style to it. Whenever somebody goes through a heartbreak, that's what you feel is you feel self-pity. You want to whine to people. That's, you relate to music like that. And the way that it, Black Bear delivered it in this album, I think was awesome. And I think Pitchfork was way off base. I do not think it was an accurate review of this album. When I was reading it, it almost felt like the person writing it did not really listen to that kind of music, did not actually take away from the album what Black Bear was hoping he would take away from it. Like I said, it took me one time through to understand what he was trying to say. Overall, I gave this a six and a half out of 10. Pitchfork gave it a four out of 10. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think of this album. It's a very well put together project. It sounds clean. It is very creative. There is a lot of... Um, emotion in it but it all sounds the same so go check it out let me know what you guys think once again thank you guys for stopping by i appreciate you checking out my videos if you have any tips tricks music suggestions or just think i suck go ahead leave them down in the comments also i'd appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button whichever side it's on thank you for stopping by and until next time peace